You can create beautiful melodies from scratch without any advanced music theory, just a few tricks that I'm going to show you today. First, let's right click here on the snap to scale function and you can see the minor, which is more melodic and sad sounding, or the major one. Those are pretty popular, start out with those. Today I'm going to choose for a minor one, minor and C. It's a pretty popular one, you can experiment with others. Left click to select. And first we're going to place our root notes. Let's start here with a one and then count up. One, two, three, four, five on the lighter parts. Those are in scale. You can also click here again and everything will be in scale. So it will sound great together. Or click again just to place notes anywhere. So we're in one, five, six, four chord progression. So these are the root notes. It's a pretty popular structure. Then we're going to make triad chords out of these by skipping each other light note. So skip, place note, skip, note. And do it for all those. Skip note, skip note. And then we got something like this. And listen to it twice to see if it loops nicely. What you can do then is control select the middle notes and control arrow up brings them up one octave. And we get something like this. These are the exact same chords, but just one octave higher, so we get a more interesting uh, melody, for example. What you can do then is maybe you can see this way down, you can bring it up one octave, and maybe you like this effect better. And just play around with these. Uh, then you can select everything, shift click, control arrow up to duplicate those notes but one octave higher. And then I got these notes here and then I put my snap to grid here to one, uh, one second beat. So you can have those but experiment with others if you like. And then we can shift those a little bit and then we can play around with those notes. So for example we can create something like this. And you can also create some melodic things in here and add notes. So we get some, some half steps like here. Not half steps, but literally steps. This would be a half step. This is a full step. I can place notes in here like this. And then do it for the rest. But you can also bring those one octave up. And play it like, like this, like this, for example. maybe bring this up as well and build a staircase for example like this and we get this going on okay now I like to use the slice tool so in my chords itself I can also slice up and chop up things that I want um, I would leave the root notes as is but you can chop up the other parts maybe you can get something interesting so right now I chop this See, this is already a pretty interesting effect. And then you can try something out. And then you can have the other spaces right here, if there are some pretty big spaces. Well, test out if this sounds nice. Well, if you like it, you let it there. If you don't like it, you can still change it up. Okay, what you're going to do then is Ctrl B to duplicate this over. But this time, I like to make some changes in the second part, especially here on the ending. So let's here change this up a bit. Ctrl R up, put it up an octave, and I like to go up in the end. So now it loops with the same notes, a little bit of variety to keep things from going boring. And this is our melody we have right now. So this is already a pretty beautiful melody. You can layer it with different sounds, pads, experiment with it. I just stayed in key 
and I experimented with the octaves and placing notes in between and with the slice tool. I hope these tips helped and you can create some beautiful melodies from scratch. Subscribe for more beautiful tips. I mean, beautiful melodies and other great tips. Well, maybe beautiful videos like this. See you later. Bye-bye.